Hi again, it's Erin at Yippie Kaye, and in today's quick tutorial, I wanted to give you a, a little handy tip on how to draw straight lines uh, in a journal like this one that has plain white paper and no lines. Um, yes, you can use a ruler, uh, but I prefer uh, to freehand my straight lines because I think they look nicer. And also sometimes you're out and about and you don't have a ruler available. So I'm going to show you how you can draw straight lines. It's a quick tip that I learned a long time ago. Um, and also I'm going to teach you what a bounding box is. A bounding box is, you can see one around here, it's just a border that goes around the edge of your page. Um, it kind of helps contain uh, what you put on your page and you can color outside of it like I have here um, and it just kind of makes everything look neat and tidy you can see here where's the page uh, the pages without a bounding box just don't look as neat and tidy so I always do start off almost all of my pages with a bounding box like this and I'm going to show you how you can do those uh, as well without a ruler if you so desire so, all you need to do is grab your handy dandy pen. I'm going to use kind of a fat marker so you can see what I'm doing. And open up your journal and get it on a nice solid surface so you can press down. And the trick is, um, when you put the pen down on the paper, you're going to let these two fingers slide along the outside of your journal pages. So you see how those are sliding back and forth? And I'm going to let this hand move to put it down wherever I want this straight line to be. So once I decide where it's going to be, I put my marker down and then I freeze my hand in the position that I want. So for example, I want my line to be about here, which is about a quarter inch from the edge of the paper. So I'm going to put the marker down I've got my two fingers running along the outside here. I'm going to put my marker down and I'm going to freeze my hand like it's a claw. And I'm going to pull my whole arm straight back. So I'm not going to move my wrist or my fingers at all once they're in place. So I'll show you what it looks like. I'm going to put the marker down, freeze my hand, pull my whole arm straight back. So that's pretty straight. Uh, and then you just go around if you want to do a bounding box do the same thing on every edge like so now for the gutter it's similar except for instead of running your fingers along the outside of the pages you're gonna jam them into the gutter but same thing you're gonna freeze your hand in a claw so get your two fingers in the gutter freeze your hand like a claw and pull it straight back and what you're doing is you're letting those fingers in the gutter mark where your line's going to be. Now this will work no matter where you want your lines to be. For example, on the top, sometimes I do another box, like so, so that I can put a title for the page in the box. So look how easy that is. Nice straight lines. All right, so I think it looks nice like this. It's not perfect, um, but I think it has a nice look to it. And just to give you an idea of how straight a line you are able to get, here's one journal with dots. And since I don't want to ruin this page, I'm going to use a piece of charcoal, which is erasable. So just to give you an idea of how straight a line you can get, Let's just check this out. So I've got my outside fingers, I've got my charcoal, pull it straight back. Now, it's not perfect, but you can see, if you're able to see where the dots are, it's not bad. So even if I were to come in a little further in, now I've got my two fingers, freeze my hand. Oh, that's not going to work. i got to put it down. Pull my whole arm straight back. Look at that. Absolutely straight. So it just, uh, wherever you want your line, 
you move these two fingers over, but you keep these against the side. So there you go. That's your quick trick to freehand straight lines in your journal. I hope that was helpful. Thanks, and tune in for more videos to come.